Hey everyone, just before we start today's video, I wanted to let you all know that GamerTube now has memberships. So you can get lots of awesome stuff like custom badges that go next to your name, custom emojis and GIFs, and also you can help us make our next character. If you're a member, your ideas and suggestions will get automatically accepted in our character concept live streams. So with lots more cool stuff and ideas on the way, consider being a GamerTube member today. Alrighty well, back to the video. So in today's video, the character we're looking into is that new creepy toy creature we see in the new Chapter 3 trailer. So since there's no official name for this character, we're just going to call them the Nightmare. Also, you know the drill, this is just all fan made and just for fun, so just take it with a grain of salt. And do be sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe, it helps a lot and it's greatly appreciated. Alrighty well, let's take a look at the Nightmare. So recently, the second teaser trailer for Puppy Playtime Chapter 3 released. This trailer revealed a lot of new interesting things that we can see. We see that the train has crashed and the only way forward is through the playcare centre. This new area looks like a creepy abandoned orphanage with scratch marks and messages scattered all over the walls. We also see Huggy's severed head on a pike and what looks to be a much larger version of this mysterious prototype 1006. But the most interesting thing we see above all is the new toy character at the end of the trailer. As of yet it is unknown what this character's name is but we'll be calling it The Nightmare. In fact, this whole trailer is reminiscent of a nightmare. With the screams of the orphans and the dark empty hallways, this creepy character seems right at home. So we only get to see a little bit of their twisted looking face. But what would the body of this toy creature look like? Well, The Nightmare would be a large furry toy with sharp claws and even sharper teeth. Their body and appearance would be reminiscent of a bear mixed with a large cat. The Nightmare has a large open grinning mouth with many sharp pointy teeth inside. So the Nightmare has quite a special ability. They can forcefully make anyone they wish fall asleep instantly. All they would need to do is expel the potent red sleeping gas from their mouth. Anyone who breathes in this sleep gas will fall asleep instantly. But this wouldn't be a peaceful sleep. It would be a sleep plagued with horrific nightmares. And in some instances, if a person has breathed in too much of this gas, it would be a nightmare they could never wake up from. So this nightmare toy's original job was to keep guard of the orphans and make sure they went to sleep. In the beginning, this was quite a peaceful process. But the more the children refused to sleep, the more and more strict the toy became. It got to the point where they would put the orphans under via the sleeping gas. And this gave the toy the nickname, The Nightmare. Most times the children would go to sleep out of fear, because if they didn't, Nightmare would be forced to use the sleep gas. But as time went on, fewer of the orphans remained, until there were none left. But if anyone were to walk the halls of the playcare centre once again, it better not be after bedtime, because The Nightmare will do everything in their power to put them to sleep. So now we return back to the player. It's a miracle that they've survived the train crash. There doesn't seem to be any sign of Poppy. Who knows where she's gone off to? The player needs to find a way out of here before the fire starts to spread any further. They see a door that says Playcare. Well, it seems like the only way they can go forward. So they walk through the door and come to an empty looking hallway. This place looks completely deserted. Well, that's gotta be a good thing. Hopefully there are no more evil toys they need to deal with. But something definitely feels off about this place. There's scratch marks all throughout the halls and weird ominous messages written on the walls. The player decides to open up one of the doors to see if anyone is here. They find a room with multiple beds inside. The beds are empty and no one is here. Suddenly the player hears something behind them. They turn around and see a monstrous creature standing in the doorway. It has small staring eyes and a mouth filled with large pointy teeth. Its hands have claws as big and as sharp as kitchen knives. Those eyes turn red as they roll back into the creature's head. Suddenly a stream of red fog flows from its mouth. The player suddenly feels extremely tired. And not long after, they begin to shut their eyes.
earth was that? Was it just a bad dream? And how long has the player been asleep for? It must have been that red gas that the creature filled the room with. The player can't let that happen again, and more importantly, they need to get out of here. The player makes it back into the hallway. They're relieved the seat at the ceiling is still intact. That just proves that what they saw was definitely just a nightmare. The player walks through the corridor and checks all the doors. They come across an unlocked door and take a peek inside. And laying there on a desk was exactly what they needed. It was a gas mask. This red gas mask would protect them from the sleep gas whenever they encounter it next. They put it on and continue forward. The hallway is now filled with the red nightmare inducing gas. That creature must be breathing a whole bunch more into the playcare center. But luckily for the player, the mask is doing its job. They walk through all of the sleep gas until they reach the end of the hallway. They walk through the door and find themselves in another room. And standing in front of them is the nightmare. It's just standing there with its eyes closed, breathing out all the gas. I guess this thing needs to sleep as well. Next to the nightmare is a key. Maybe the key would unlock the way out of here. The player needs to slowly sneak up and grab the key without the nightmare waking up. Little by little, they get closer and closer. They get close enough and grab the key. Now they need to sneak over towards the other doorway. But they hear the last sound that they ever wanted to hear. They turn around and see that the nightmare is wide awake. The nightmare is furious to see that the player has found the gas mask and is wearing it. The nightmare charges towards the player as they run down another corridor. The player has to run as fast as they can and avoid being attacked. If they let up for even a second, that will be the end of them. Finally, the player spots a door and bursts through it. They use the key they found to lock it behind them. This must be the master key for this whole area. They can hear the nightmare clawing away on the other side of the door. The player needs to come up with an idea, and fast. Inside this room is a large control panel with a variety of buttons. They quickly skim over all the buttons until they reach one that stands out from all the rest. They find the button that says Air Duct Filtration. They turn this button on and hope for the best. Once they do, all the red sleep gas is extracted from this whole area. Once the air is all clear, they hear a strange noise. It seems like they've awakened something much larger than the nightmare. Something that the nightmare must have wanted kept in a dormant state. Finally, the nightmare breaks through the door and walks towards the player. With that doorway being the only exit, the player is now trapped. As the nightmare gets closer, the player's doom is almost at hand. But speaking of hand, a giant mechanical hand suddenly breaks through the side of the room. Its sharp fingers stab right through the nightmare's body. Where has this thing come from? Was this what the nightmare wanted to keep asleep? And more importantly, this large mechanical hand looks familiar to the player. Whilst in pain, the nightmare can't produce any more of the sleep gas. The giant body that's attached to this hand drags the nightmare through the hole in the wall. It seems that whatever this thing was helped them in the end. Finally, that nightmarish creature was dealt with, but it seems like there's an even larger threat to deal with now. Unfortunately, the only way forward is through this giant hole in the wall, and what awaits the player on the other side is uncertain. But as to what it is, we'll just have to wait and see. So I think this new unnamed character, aka the Nightmare, is going to be awesome to see in Chapter 3. I'm not fully aware of what the final character will look like or be named, but what I do know is that I am extremely excited to see what Chapter 3 has in store for all of us. The trailer that was just released was certainly scary, and I hope the third chapter can deliver on that scare factor and the overall horror. But I guess we'll just have to wait until Chapter 3 is finally released to get our answer to all these questions. Alrighty everyone, well that was all we have for today's video. I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, please consider leaving a like, commenting, and subscribing, and subscribe to like, and it's greatly appreciated. Also, let me know in the comment section down below what you thought of the nightmare and what you'd like to see going forward. 
Also, do be sure to consider being a GameTube member as you get a lot of awesome cool perks like custom badges, gifts, emojis, and also your ideas and your suggestions automatically approved in our character concept live streams. So there's plenty of awesome benefits to becoming a GameTube member. Alrighty everyone, well thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.